Hey guys, um, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so, yeah, this is my first for in a while. So, uh, this is what, basically, we're going to be doing. We're going to be moving around, making a character that moves in the game engine, and make the camera so that it follows it, like you can see right here. Alright, so go to File, New, and then Erase All. Press 1, and go into your front view, and then you can click on that blue thing and bring it up so that it's right along your grid and then name it player but make sure the P is capital or else it will not work for the camera and then go space add mesh plane and then you can scale that up for however big you want it it doesn't really matter how big it's just like it's just going to be your floor and then click on your player and then uh, go into your your logic panel and then add a new sensor or actually add four and then you're gonna do the first one make it a keyboard W and then the next one will be an S third one will be an A and the last one will be D but you can make those like uh, up and down arrows too it doesn't really matter it's just whatever you're gonna use for your running and then add it four controllers and parent them all to each keyboard and then after that add four actuators and again parent them all but then you're going to make the second panel thing so that when you press W it'll move forward point 10 as the motion and the next one is going to be negative 10 so it's the opposite and then the third the fourth one, you're going to make it uh, rotate the opposite way. And now when we look at our character, press P to play, he can move around like that. But the problem is, if you go over here, then he just, you can't see him anymore. So we're going to click on our camera, add another sensor. Uh, you can leave it in, in always. Then add a controller, parent it to the controller. And then set the camera, or set it as camera. And then put for the object, remember we did player with the capital. Make sure it's capital. And then we can do the minimum of two. You can play around with these options. It's just going to be whatever your camera is going to be. So right now it's like that. I don't think you want your camera like that. So we're going to change the minimum to 10 and the maximum to 10. Height of 5 is fine. And there now our uh, object moves around and our camera follows it. So that's pretty much it, and yeah, you can change around all the settings and stuff. Make sure you guys comment and subscribe and rate and all that good stuff. Alright, I will see you later.